Hello everyone, it's your boy Nicovelli King, you're on Nicovelli TV, and tonight's topic is no other than Jeff Harnasak going at it with Michael Beasley. That's right. Michael Beasley and Jeff Harnasak are bumping heads, and Jeff Harnasak is thinking about, matter of fact, I think he's going to do it, removing Michael Beasley out the lineup. Yeah, you heard right. No Michael Beasley on the lineup. Look like he's going to be warming that bench up along with Jerry Jack. And Michael Beasley is pissed. Jeff Harnasak is saying that Michael Beasley don't play no defense and he hasn't been playing no offense. That's how Jeff feels. He's saying since KP left, you know, with the injury, that Michael Beasley only shot 11 of 32 when he played against the Clippers and is averaging 7.9 since KP departure. So all the games that the Knicks played, since KP left. Michael Beasley is 11 of 32 and is averaging 7.9 points per game. That's not all that great. I must admit that. That's nothing to brag about. But on the other hand, Michael Beasley saying the reason for that is that the Knicks is not sharing the ball. He's saying there's no that that the plays is hogging the ball. Now he never point out any names. But overall, he's saying the ball is not being shared. And that's the reason why the Knicks only had 24 assists on 41 basket attempts when they played against the, the Clippers. And in that game, when they played against the Clippers, Michael Beasley only scored three for seven. He had two turnovers and one assist. So you ain't get much out of him there. But, um, mm, wow, man. It doesn't feel good, man, when, you don't, when you're not being appreciated. But personally, I think Jeff Hornacek got some nerve, man, to be pointing the finger at uh, Michael Beasley, man. Let's talk about you as a coach and all these erratic changes that you be making out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, man. I mean, first of all, I feel as a coach, your players got to have confidence in you. And I don't think they have that in um, Jeff Harnasak. I think Jeff Harnasak is very emotional. This is coming from Nick. I think he's an emotional man. And he don't think before he reacts. And he makes these crazy changes. I mean, listen, man. It is what it is. The next season is diminishing. And now you want to play Trey Burke. Now, don't get me wrong. Trey Burke's doing his thing. But you should have played him a whole lot sooner, man. And plus, Jeff Hornacek's acting like he don't even want to, like he's not even fighting for a playoff. You would think, as a Nick coach, that he would want to see the team make it to the playoffs. But he'll come right out and tell you, I'm not really concerned about the, the team making the playoffs. I just want the, the players to gel together. It's crazy, man. It makes me wonder, is he sabotaging the team on purpose because he already got an insight Scoop that he's not going to be with the team next year. You never know. But I need y'all to hit me up in these comments, man, and let me know. Who you rolling with? You think Michael Beasley got a point? Or do you think Jeff Harnasak has a valid issue? Huh? Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Or should we get rid of both of them? All right? So there it is. Is Michael Beasley bitching? Because they ain't sharing the ball. Or to hear Jeff Harnasak tell you. Michael Beasley is not playing defense because he's not making no shots offensively. So I just need to know, man.